Hey everyone, I have everyone's favorite math topic, which is percents, decimals, and fractions. Yay! Okay, I know not really, but I'm going to show you how to convert from between all three of these things. So first, really quick, I feel like we need to talk about what really is a percent, a decimal, and a fraction. All right, so the word percent, I think we've talked about this before, actually means out of and then cent meaning 100. So when we're trying to find percent, we're trying to find how much out of 100. Um, decimals are labeled with their place values, which makes uh, our life a little bit easier when we're trying to turn them into fractions and percents. Um, this first place value is the tenths. The second place value is the hundredths. And then this one is the thousandths. And then so on and so forth. They, it continues on with ten thousandths and hundred thousandths. Just in the same way it mirrors the other side of the decimal point. And then of course we know that a fraction is how many we're counting and then it's out of the total. First one that we're going to start with is I'm going to show you how to find a fraction or a percent from a decimal. Move that out of the way so that you don't see underneath there. Um, so this one is probably one of the easier ones in my opinion. Let me give you a decimal. Let's start with a really easy one. Let me give you Sometimes we see it like that with the zero, 0 0.75. Um, so first let's start with the fraction. We know that this decimal is out of the hundredths. When we read this, this number, we can, we can read it as 75 hundredths. So we can actually just write it like that, 75 one hundredths. So right there, it's already in fraction form. Now, of course, if you have a larger decimal, such as 'thing like that, then you would just count how many place values you have, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, so it's that number out of ten thousand. Uh, but let's go back to this, this one, because for this one what we want to do now is reduce this fraction, and to reduce you simply want to find a number that you can divide both of these numbers by evenly. So if in this particular case, because I picked a nice easy one for us to start with, we can, multi or we can divide by 25. So 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So our fraction is 3 fourths. Okay, so now let's, let me show you how to turn this into a percent. When we're moving decimals to percentage, it's really easy. All you have to do is take this decimal and move it two places to the right. It's always two places. Um, and the way that I help my students remember which way to go, whether it's left or right, is I tell them, well, in the alphabet, D comes before P. So when you're moving from decimal to percent, you move two places to the right, and then likewise, if we're doing, if we're going from percent to decimal, we can move our decimal two places to the left. So that's just, you know, one of those easy little ways to remember which direction to move your decimal in. Okay, so anyways, so we've got 0.75 or 75 hundredths. We moved that decimal place over to the right two times, so that's going to equal 75 percent. Also we can do the same thing with this one. If I wanted to move this decimal, uh, make it into a percent, I would move that decimal over two times. It falls right there between the five and the six, so this percentage is 35.67 percent. Yes, you can have a decimal and a percent all at the same time. Oh my goodness. All right, let's move on. 
Now we're going to find a decimal or a fraction from a percent. Here's our percentage. 35%. If you know that it, this is a percentage, you know that it's this much out of 100. So I automatically know what my fraction is. It's 35 out of 100. Of course, we do want to simplify that. So again, when we simplify, we find a number that we can divide both of these numbers evenly by. And in this case, it's going to be 5. So 35 divided by 5 is 7 and 100 divided by 5 is 20, there's your fraction. And then just like I showed you in that last one, we want to change this percent into a decimal. So we're going to move our decimal two spaces to the left. Since this doesn't have a decimal, I know it's right there after the 5. Move it two spaces to the, to the left, so that equals 0 0.35 or 35 hundredths. Pretty easy, right? Okay, got one more for you. Find a decimal or a percent from a fraction. <clears throat> There's a couple of different ways to do this one. Sometimes you'll get really easy fractions like one-tenth. Okay, all we have to do to turn this into, um, first I'm going to start with percent. All we have to do to turn this into a percent is figure out how I can make this fraction out of 100. What can I multiply 10 times to get 100? Well, it's 10. That means I have to multiply the top times 10. Then I know that 10 out of 100 equals 10%. Okay, well now I have my 10%. I just showed you how easy it was to turn a percent into a decimal. So once I've got this 10%, I know my decimal appears right there. Move it over two spaces to the left. So the, this equals 0 0.10. Usually we just leave off that last zero, so really it's just 0 0.1 for our decimal. That was a really easy one. Um, let me give you another one that's, I don't know, somewhat trickier. Let me give you four fifths. Again, what we can do is multiply or find an equivalent fraction that will give us something over 100. Well, I know that 5 times 20 equals 100, so that means I have to multiply the top times 20 as well. 4 times 20 is 80, that gives me 80%. And then, of course, we can turn that into a decimal by moving that decimal over two times to the left, and this would be 0 0.8 or 8 tenths. What if this bottom number you can't multiply times anything to get 100? Well, then it's a little bit tougher, but it can be done. You just have to divide, and that's all that there is to it. So let me give you an example with this. Um, let's go with two-thirds. I know that three times nothing, there's nothing that I can multiply that will give me an even 100 to, to make it nice and easy like this last one. So what I have to do is really a fraction is just a division problem. It's saying it's this much divided by this much on the bottom. So I'm going to set up my division problem. Well wait a second, three can't go into two evenly. That's why we have to come up with a decimal. Because I know that I'm looking for a percentage, I'm going to go ahead and add two more zeros. You saw that I added a decimal here and I'm adding two more zeros. That's just so that I have enough place value for my percentage. Um, and actually we'll probably end up having to add a third zero so that we can round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I'll show you what I'm talking about with all of that. So when you're dividing with decimals, you can just kind of forget about that decimal for now and just pretend that this is 200 divided by 3. If you've watched my um, Big 7 division video, you can certainly use that here. I would go ahead and add another, a third zero before you started the Big 7 just because it's a little bit harder to keep tacking on zeros onto the end when you're dividing. But I'm just going to do traditional long division method with this um, with this problem. So I'm going to make my number a little bit smaller. How many times can 3 go into 20? Well that's 6. 
6 times 3 is 18. That goes down here and gets subtracted. 20 minus 18, I'm just forgetting about this zero for right now. 20 minus 18 is 2. Bring down my zero from here. 3 can go into 20 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. You can see that there's a pattern starting to form here. I'm just going to keep getting 2 and bringing down a 0 and having to divide 20 by 3. So this is just going to be 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 repeating. So we usually write that as with a bar on the top to show that it just continues on. Some people like to write it like this with just one digit. I always like to write it with two digits, especially since I know I'm going to be turning this into um, a percentage. So because we're writing this as a percentage, you can write it as, you can move that decimal over two times to the right and write it as 66.66% or you can go ahead and round 66.66% seven percent or some people might even round to 67 percent so that's when you just have to uh, check your directions or look and see uh, what your teacher or whomever is asking you for um, if you're supposed to round you know to some certain place value uh, this the standard usually is two place values after the decimal point um, so I hope that that helps with uh, conversions between fractions, percents, and decimals. I know that was a little bit of a long video, but I tried to uh, go through it as quickly as possible because there's a lot of different conversions in there. Thanks so much, and please subscribe to my channel, and um, check out my website, too. I've got all my videos on there as well. Okay, thanks. Bye.